We're in the state of Montana chasing big old mule deer on a do-it-yourself hunt and Wired Outdoors starts right, right now. now. Hello and welcome to Wired Outdoors. Today we have a great show for you as we're joining field staffer Doug Gardner and his good friend Mike Atok as they're heading to Montana to do a do-it-yourself late season mule deer hunt. So let's get right to the action, see if these guys can get it done in Montana. All right guys, well here we are. It is official, we finally made it out. This is our first hunt. area that we've scouted, spent months looking on computers, making phone calls for our do-it-yourself deer hunt. We can't be more pleased at this point. I mean, the area looks perfect, so we're hoping that this week will produce some nice mule deer and uh, some good memories. So all I can say is stay tuned. This should be fun. We'll see what happens. It starts now. Well, we saw our first live crater out in the woods. A genuine Montana porcupine. You hit him. You hit him. You hit him like a... <laughs> Dude, you hit him. It thumped. Oh my lord. Dude, he is beautiful. Just he is nice. <laughs> oh man, this was great. Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my lord, I can't believe it. I tell you what, guys, uh, I'm a little rattled right now myself. I'm, I'm excited. You gotta be excited. Dude, that's a big deer. Oh my lord! We put on a stock that was probably at least two miles, if not more. We didn't get a whole lot of footage of our stock because the conditions were just terrible. I mean, we're in cactuses, and I mean, I 
jagged my hands four or five times. I sat on one on my butt. I'm hurting all over the place. We've crawled three or four times thinking we were gonna come up on this ground messes with you so bad. You think, oh, he's there. And you crawl up and we could see him. Then he laid down. They're hard to see laying down. Well, anyways, we've been on this deer for a couple hours and uh, we saw him bed down. And uh, we literally crawled on our hands and knees up to, I think that thing's probably maybe 75 yards. Uh, so, enough of this, let's go see. Yeah, yeah let's This has it. been a good one. <laughs> That's good right there. Did you see him? Yeah, he's right Oh, Micah, that's a nice one. Dude, he's nice. Oh, go ahead, grab him. You're unloading and everything, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. So, I'm tickled to death. I'm so happy for you. I really am. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Well, what we're gonna have to do now is uh, get this thing tagged, gutted, and this thing is probably 200 pounds. At least this is gonna be a drag. Oh my lord. So. Congrats, Micah. That is a great mule deer. And there is something to be said when you go out and do a do-it-yourself hunt. You know, to go with guides is one thing, but that's a true accomplishment to go out there on your own and get it done on a great mule deer. So great job, and we want to thank everybody out there for joining us on Wired Outdoors.